Hey, welcome to This Week in Marketing, where Coach Jason Pantan and I help you modernize your marketing, build your brand, and ultimately win more business. Did you know 93% of consumers use the web to find local businesses? The question is, are they finding your local business? My name is Jason Pantana and welcome to This Week in Marketing where today we talk about search. Now, winning in online search in 2022 is way more than just Google, for instance. In fact, today I'm gonna talk about three different types of search where I think you need to dominate. You have to position your agent brand to be discovered by buyers and sellers if you wanna win those lead and inbound opportunities. It's all about search right now. It's all about discoverability right now. That's the world in which we live, but it's not just Google. Those three types of search that I wanna dig into today is local search, social search, and video search. Starting off, let's talk about local search. Riddle me this. How many different Google searches happen every single day? Like worldwide, how many Google searches per day? You're gonna Google it really quick. The answer is about eight and a half billion searches every day. Of all the searches happening every day on Google, get this, 46% of them are of local intent. Well, what do I care? Well, don't you run a local business, right? Don't you want local buyers and local sellers to find local old you? The answer is yes, of course you do. You want to win on local intent searches. But now you have to imagine like Google's got a challenge that they got to think through. Like, okay, well, we're a search engine. What does a search engine do? Well, I type in words in search bar. I hit search. I'm looking for something. I'm trying to discover something. And the way that Google serves up results is it ranks and prioritizes links to various web pages or whatever of what it thinks is gonna address the needs of my search, the basic idea and intent of my search. So if I'm looking for something local, where are they supposed to send me? Because if they can't answer that, they've got a massive gap in their problem because almost half of all searches are local. Are you with me on this? And enters into the solution mix, this idea of the Google Business Listing Network. It was once called Google My Business. It's currently called Google Business Profiles. It's had lots of names over the, t- over the years. And basically what it is, is all the red dots that you see in Google Maps. Sometimes you see them in Google Search. It's local business listings, and I'm willing to bet you have one. We've done lots of different videos where we talk about how to optimize your Google business profile. Now I'm telling you why today. The reason why is because you need to dominate local intent searches because that's where buyers and sellers and consumers are going to look for the best realtor near me and so forth. Now, yes, there are paid ads that you can use like Google local services ads and stuff like that where you can rank on those types of searches. That's all great. But today from an SEO standpoint, I am imploring you, not begging, just imploring you to please dial up, dial in your Google business profile. How do I do that? Well, first you, you need one. So maybe you don't have one. Go to business.google.com slash create and then search for the name of your business, whatever it is, and see like there's a chance that it actually already exists. Maybe somebody else made it. It got set up because somebody tried to review you or whatever. That's not usually a good sign, by the way, but it might already exist. And then you have the option to claim it. If it does not already exist, you have the option to create it, give it a name, give it a website, give it a phone number, set up appointment links, add the hours, add your business description, fill that thing out into its entirety. Because from an SEO standpoint, the more you fill out the profile, the happier it makes Google and the more information and data it gives to Google. Now, I'm not going to get overly granular today about how to optimize for SEO. I'm going to go pretty high level, like just local search is where you need to win. So that means using your Google business profile on a recurring basis. You need to be generating more reviews there. You need to reply to every single review you get there. You should be adding photos and videos and Google posts on the regular. You should be adding Google products. You should be, suffice it to say, very simply put, using the profile to the max. Because if you do that, Then when people go looking for best realtor near me or best realtor in Albuquerque, wherever you do business, you are increasing the odds of ranking in those searches whereby they can then read reviews. By the way, there are stats galore that say the next thing those consumers, those 93% of consumers who go looking for businesses locally on web searches, the next stat says how many of them go on to read reviews to make their decisions. So this all goes hand in glove. But what I'm saying to you today as a call to action is you need to be ready for local search and local search happens predominantly in your Google business profile. Now we can talk about Bing places and things like that. Those are important too. But if you look at how much of all search volume Google controls, over 90% 
of all searches online are happening within Google. Now that includes Google, Google Images, and includes YouTube and all Google products. But like when we compare Google to Yahoo or Bing or any other search platform, it's no comparison. You need to win on local search and the magic happens in your Google business profile. So get that thing set up, get it optimized, look at our other content that we've created to talk about how to win in those local searches and get found by more customers. Number two, second type of search mechanism thingy that we're talking about today is social search. Social search, what are you talking about? Social media? Yeah, I'm talking about social media. Now, you may remember like years ago, Facebook tried to really beef up its search components and it worked for a second, but then it stopped working and they kind of reverted and went back. Like Facebook's a social network, it's not a search engine. However, Instagram made a pretty interesting shift last year and I wanna kind of give some context to it. Instagram is trying to beef up its search capabilities. If you go to your Instagram app and you see that little magnifying glass on the lower footer where you go to your explore page, it's a search, like it's a search page, that's what it is. Now, on the surface, it shows you things you might be interested in, but across the top, there's that big search bar where you can search for different types of things, which I'll get into the types of things for which you can search, but let's go back to what Adam Mazzari said last year, the head of Instagram. He made some pretty big, some pretty, you might recall that he made some pretty big statements when he said that Instagram is no longer just a square photo sharing app. And then he talked about TikTok and YouTube, and he said, we wanna compete toe to toe with those types of platforms. We're an entertainment app. We're a video first app. And he made some pretty bold statements. Well. When he named YouTube, which I'm kind of foreshadowing the next point here, just stay with me. When he named YouTube as a competitor, they recognized kind of technically they had to be able to beef up their search because YouTube is a search engine. The reason why people watch videos for longer on YouTube is because they went searching for those videos. And because of that, it means they had more intent to go watch that video. Their attention span is greater. Simply put like this. If you want someone to watch a video for longer, they have to be searching for what they want to find. And so Instagram realizes if they want to keep people watching longer videos, not the types of videos where they just scroll through endlessly like reels and stuff, they're going to have to build out a serious world-class search capability, which is what they're working on doing. Now, if you use the search bar now, Instagram search will give you kind of subcategory hints of what they want you to search for, like accounts, places, tags, and top, and things like that. It even gives you audio, for instance. So what does that mean? Well, that means accounts is the first one. The number one thing I want you to hear from me right now about social searches on Instagram, you need to have the right username. The username and the display name, they are different. The username is basically your actual handle. It's the thing that's really hard to get if you have a common name, for instance. The display name is whatever you want it to be. And whether it's in the display name or the username, those are being searched and indexed by Instagram. And so if somebody searches your name, you wanna make sure that they actually find you. A lot of you have profiles where you have some funky name or a silly name or whatever it is, like it's an AOL instant messenger from the 90s or something, that doesn't work anymore because it's not search optimized. You need to make sure that your actual profile, your display name, your account username, all those things should be maximized and optimized so that people who are searching for you can actually find you. It also means using like like keywords in your bio, in your display name, such as Realtor, such as where you do business, other modifiers and things that can give people context. Like imagine I met an agent from Phoenix and I was like, that agent was so great. What was their name? I can't remember it. Well, if I go to Instagram search and I type in Phoenix agent, bam, because I followed you, you're going to be at the top of my list, right? So first thing I want you to hear is that the number one way people are using search on Instagram is to look up other accounts. However, they're trying to beef it up. Why? Because they want to get people to watch more videos, longer videos. Why? Because they want to compete with YouTube. I'm somewhat synthesizing what Adam Mazzari said, but come on, like this, the writing's on the wall here with this. So let's keep going for a second. Not only can you search by accounts, you can search by tags. What are tags? Hashtags, that's nothing new, we knew that. But we do know they're also making a lot of steps at Instagram to try to reduce hashtag spam. They only want three to five hashtags in the caption now. Why? Because they want the hashtags to be super descriptive and relevant of their content. Why? So that the search bar, the search functionality is actually working better. What they don't want is people searching hashtags that populate videos that have nothing to do with the hashtag, which is why they're starting to police that a bit more. It also talks about audio. You can search by trending audio. Just a heads up on your reels, you might wanna think about doing more trending audio in your reels because that's gonna put wind in the sails of your post algorithmically 
to be discovered by a larger audience. But it also talks about places. I've talked before about you should tag your location. Why? Because that's another thing Instagram is indexing and considering in search. And then finally, there's one that says top when you're in the search bar. What does that mean? Well, it means it's actually looking at keywords. Did you know that Instagram doesn't look at just hashtags? The actual words in your caption are being indexed and scanned and reviewed by Instagram. So if you use keywords, in your captions, you're actually helping yourself to rank in various searches. Part of winning on search online in 2022 is social search. And really, where is it going down? It's going down on Instagram. They're the ones making the play because they wanna compete with YouTube. It's your username, it's your display name, it's your bio, it's the content you create with the hashtags you use, the location tags you include, and also the words in your caption that are being scanned and indexed by Instagram. Win on Instagram search by doing those things. And finally, search type number three is video search. I already kind of foreshadowed this one when I talked about YouTube because YouTube, as I've said many times, is a search engine more than it is a social network. In fact, it is technically, if we're gonna get super technical and like slice hairs here, everybody calls it the second most popular search engine on the planet, which is actually not entirely true. It's technically the third most popular, but it's kind of a trick question because number one is Google. Number two is actually Google images, which is still Google, right? And number three is YouTube. So whatever, like this is all just, who cares, Jason? YouTube is still more popular than Yahoo or Bing or other platforms. And so you should be creating videos that are intent upon the searches, local buyers, local sellers, people relocating or moving to or from your area are looking for. You should be using tools like TubeBuddy or TubeBricks or vidIQ. Those are just common tools where you can conduct keyword research on, hey, what are the trending phrases? When people go to YouTube and they search for videos related to what I do for a living as a real estate agent in a local marketplace, what are those search phrases so that I can understand them and then I can analyze the competition to see who else is making videos that are currently ranking on those search phrases and what do I have to do to beat them? I wanna beat them. I wanna supply the videos that rank top of the page in those searches that are intent upon buying or selling in my local marketplace. If you wanna be the agent of choice in 2022, you gotta win on search, online search. That means local search, social search, and video search. Today, we talked about your Google business profile, we talked about your Instagram profile, and we talked about your YouTube channel. Those are three platforms where you should be making content and optimizing so that consumers, buyers, and sellers, and Relo, and all that stuff can find you, reach out to you, and inquire about your services. I wanna see you win on search. If this content resonated with you, please, please, please leave a comment, uh, ask questions, I wanna try to reply to your questions. And if there's another topic you want to hear about, again, put it in the comments. We want to keep making marketing content that moves you forward in your business. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jason Pantana, and this has been a blast.